All right, we're going to take a quick walkthrough on how to set up your Vital Source bookshelf account for your new digital textbooks. Uh, this should not take too long and should not be too difficult to accomplish. Uh, first thing that we're going to want to do is open up an internet browser that can be Internet Explorer, it can be Firefox, it can be Chrome. If you're using a MacBook or MacBook Pro, uh, you can use Safari for this. Uh, so when you open up your, your internet browser, you're going to navigate to www.vitalsource.com. Uh, when it pops up, you're going to see in the middle of the screen uh, where it's going to say users right here. We're going to click on users and there's one of two ways at this point that you can go to, to create your account. Uh, you can download the actual bookshelf. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Um, or and that'll it'll install a program on your computer and you can set up your account through that actual program that's installed on your computer or you can log in when you log in it's going to give you an email and a password so you can log in if this is the first time that you've gone into it you can register for account when you register for the account it's going to ask you for an email for a first name, a last name, your student ID, you can put in a security question, uh, pick one of the security questions, put in the answer for it, and input your password that you would like, and make sure that you put it in to confirm your password. Um, and then, if you want to keep me up to date with any special promotions from Vital Source or keep in mind surveys about how you can improve the software, again, that's from Vital Source, not from the school. So. On here, it's going to ask me, since I've already created my account, I'm going to sign into my account. And what you'll see is whenever you uh, click register, it's going to ask you to agree to an end user license agreement. Uh, when you agree to that, it's going to open up your bookshelf. Uh, your bookshelf will not have any books when you first create it. Uh, so we'll have to populate that. A quick walkthrough about what your bookshelf looks like. You can search your bookshelf. Again, this should not be too difficult because you're only going to have three books in your bookshelf. It shouldn't be too difficult to find the one that you want. Do you want it listed by list or by your cover? Uh, sort by title, sort by recently viewed, or sort by recently added. Again, you're only going to have three books, so that should not be that difficult for you to manage your highlights. This is where you really want to take a minute and look at. Um, you can you can go under your account to update your book list to redeem an account or redeem a, a code. This is where we're going to go in just a minute to redeem code. Show you how that works. Uh, and machine authorization. I want to take a minute and look at this. What you're going to want to do is if you have multiple students, you're going to want to create multiple accounts for the reason of machine authorizations. With machine authorizations, you can have two different computers um, and you can have two different mobile devices. Devices. Uh, you can also log in at any point and not have uh, not have to authorize that machine. This machine authorization is whenever you actually download the, the program. Uh, you can log in from any computer that you want to uh, that's connected to the internet and it's not creating a machine authorization. This is for if you've created uh, the actual program on a machine, if you've downloaded and installed it. Your mobile devices, uh, you are limited to two, but if you want to change your device, you can de authorize that. If you're going to sell your device or to reactivate or refresh your device, make sure you deauthorize that device before you um, before you do anything with it, uh, before you sell it or before you trade it out or, or reset the whole thing. Uh, make sure you deauthorize it. Now back to my bookshelf under my account. Um, again, if you're going to have multiple students, have multiple accounts. Uh, that way you can have um, more than one device for each of your students, especially if you have three students, then you're going to want to make sure for sure that you have multiple accounts. In the Redeem, whenever you click on my account, you'll be receiving um, three uh, download codes, one for each of your books. Your download codes, when you click on Redeem, um, you will take the, the download code that you have received and you will copy and paste that download code or that authorization code. Notice it is a very long code so you probably want to copy and paste it instead of trying to type it in uh, when you receive it. Once you have it, the code to redeem, once you've put it in, you can click on redeem. You're going to see it's please wait while your book list is updated. Once your book list is updated, you're going to notice that I do now have a new physics book in my bookshelf. So at this point, your bookshelf is ready to go. If you're wanting to actually install the program, uh, what you're going to see is a vital source bookshelf. And when the bookshelf opens, I'm going to give it a second to open. When the bookshelf opens, 
it's going to say, hey, notice that I've got a new book. You've recently purchased three new books. Would you like to download these books? I will download later. Um, and what I'm going to see now is there's, my, there's all the books that I have in my bookshelf. Uh, if I want to then download, I can double click on it. It says you uh, do not have this book installed. I want to download this book. And notice that it's going to then download the book for me. It is a 251 meg file. Uh, they are somewhat large in size, so make sure you do have a fast internet connection to make this happen. Um, I'm going to cancel this for right now. Let's look into the consumer math book that we already have installed on this uh, this machine and you can navigate through the book by going to different chapters and you can set up your book view uh, side by side depending on how you want your page layout you can do a continuous page if you would rather have it as a continuous page where you're just going to continually scroll down uh, some people would rather have a single page they can navigate from page to page uh, I personally prefer the the side by side page when viewing these arrows up here will take you to the to the next chapter um, you can also use the task pane over here uh, to to change from chapter to chapter if there's something in the book that you want to highlight you can click uh, that section of the book that you want to highlight and actually click on highlight at the top and you can do different colors of highlighting uh, if you need to navigate back to your bookshelf, you can go back to the bookshelf and again exclamation points are meaning that those books have not yet been downloaded. Once you have this downloaded and you're going to use it on your, your computer, I'm sure you're going to want to put it on one of your devices. If it's an iOS device or an Android device, so if you're using a, a iPad, iPad mini or any Android device including the Nook HD and HD Plus, you're going to go to the Google Play Store and, and uh, search for uh, vital source. Uh, it's going to bring up a bookshelf um, and you're going to download that, put in your email and your password and it's going to sync up and that's what's authorizing that device. If you're using the Kindle Fire, Fire 2 or Fire HD, there's one step that you're going to need to take. You cannot go straight to the Amazon store and grab the application. It is going to have to be sideloaded. In order to do that, navigate to www.emmanuelchristian.org slash download slash vital source dot html. When you go into the vital source download slash vital source dot html, it's going please follow these instructions for Kindle Fire 1, the original Kindle Fire. Please follow these instructions for the Kindle Fire 2 or the Fire HD. Uh, when you do this, it's going to uh, navigate you to their page to sideload and enter the how you're going to set up the third party applications. This step does have to be done from the actual Kindle device. You cannot perform this step unless you want to then sync to your computer using your USB cable to your computer with your Kindle Fire or Fire HD. Um, you can go straight through your Kindle Fire browser uh, to, this, to this website and then click on the, the bookshelf that you're going to want to install and follow the instructions on how to sideload the apps or use third-party applications. You would download the bookshelf and it does come as an APK file which is the, the file necessary to install the application. Once you install the application it's going to work just like all the other ones where you're going to have to put in your, your email and your password. At that point you are done. You should have your three books on your device. You should be able to read your device uh, and you should be ready to go.